So what is new in Android M Developer Preview 3? Well, there's a couple things, not a ton, but I'm going to show you some of them. And the first one right here is the brand new boot animation, which is actually pretty neat. I do like it. It's uh, just, just cool. I like to watch the bouncing ball, and then it does turn into the Android letters, just like you've seen on other Android versions like Lollipop. And there you go. So, very cool. There's a couple other things that I've noticed with this preview. And one of them is going to be the wallpaper. So, there's not a lot new, but there are some new wallpapers you can check out. The one that's on the screen right now. And then there's a couple different ones here. Pyramid, water scene, some cool backgrounds like here and here. So there's there's a cool a couple different ones you haven't seen. I think that one you'd seen before. And actually this last one obviously was the one that came with the first preview. So there's there's a bunch of new ones there, and that's pretty cool. Um, there's not a ton new really with this preview, but these are the couple things that I've kind of noticed as I've gone through it. Um, your standard pull down, everything here looks pretty normal. There's a little wrench right there on the settings button. And then, I'm not sure if this is in other versions or not, but it's just something I noticed by playing with it, is if you go into internal storage, there's this explore feature. And it's basically a file browser. And I'm just curious about it because I haven't noticed it myself. And it's pretty neat. You can come in here. It's not a full-fledged file browser where it doesn't have all the features as a normal file browser, but you have a grid view and you have the list view you saw earlier. Just turn it back on here. There we go. And, um, you know, it's not bad. You can go into your pictures and select one, and then you can share it if you want. Um, you can copy it to a different location. So, you know, the function's there. Um, just, just not, like I said, not a full-fledged file browser. But it's kind of neat. It's built into stock Android, and I like that. So the other thing I wanted to show you, which has been in other previews too, but it's just kind of neat. I've noticed it's showing up. Here's a GearBest site. This is actually the Huawei P8 Lite that I uh, reviewed. But if you hold down on any word, you, it does a search for it. And that's a really nice feature. I found it using it quite a bit on my Moto G 3rd Gen because it's there as well. So it's been in Android for a while, um, but uh, I'm really liking it. it just, it's just seamless to do a quick search on anything you hold your finger on that's on your screen. It's very, very cool when you're in the file browser. Here's obviously your Essence tab and your app drawer, which is pretty much the same. You do have the hot keys up here, the main apps you use the most, and the search functionality. And there you go, I can open up YouTube really quickly. So, not bad. Overall, um, it's running very smoothly and very easy to install. Yes, there is something a little bit new here in settings that I wanted to point out as well and of course that is going to be the Android version because we're right now running Android version 6.0 that's correct it's not Android version uh, preview M anymore but 6.0 now the Easter egg has not changed it is standard and yes the Android version has been announced and is going to be officially called Marshmallow which is just totally awesome and I love the name if you'd like to install the developer preview, just head right over here to the site here with all the links I'll link in the video description. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more videos very soon, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie, out.